Hey guys, so today I'm going to give a full tutorial on how to get iOS 5 on your iDevice and get a full activation. Now, uh, this morning I downloaded iOS 5 on my device. By the way, I am not a developer, so there's... Ooh, got a text here. There is, uh, yeah, I'm not a developer. Uh, actually, I used to be an iOS developer, but um, my account ran out, you know, the $100 uh, a year thing. So, and I figured I wouldn't really want to pay again. But I went ahead and decided to play around with the system just to see if I could update my iPod Touch and maybe trick it around a little bit to get it work. Well, uh, since the way uh, you start up your iPod or iPhone or iPad, your brand new ones now, your iPod Touch, I meant, not iPod, um, instead of getting the iTunes uh, recovery screen, it takes you right to this new welcome screen. So, in case you don't have a computer. So in my case I do. So but anyways, what I did was I went through the screen and it said it couldn't be activated because my UDID is not registered. Now a UDID is that long, long set of numbers you get in iTunes if you go under your device when it's connected, uh and you click like the version like twice, it'll show you the build number and then your identifier UDID and it should be a ton of numbers and letters, the uh letters in lowercase. So, it wouldn't let me bypass the screen. But uh, thanks to Ty's iPhone help, who I really know well, and I think uh, his videos are awesome and everything, uh, I was able to do this. And now iOS 5 runs perfect on my iPod Touch 4G. So here's what you have to do. Alright, so first of all, you're going to want to power down your whole device. Now, I already bypassed the screen, so I don't need to worry. But we'll go ahead and power off my device anyways. Give it a minute here to load. I'll probably do this on my iPhone 3GS. Most likely. Two. So. Alright. Uh, my phone keeps going off. Alright. I'll put my phone on mute. So let's go ahead and boot the iPod here. Actually, let me read these texts while I'm at it. Just waiting here. Okay, so now it's gonna take me to the slide to set up screen, obviously, because I cheated my way out. So every time you reboot your iPod, this is gonna happen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do slide to set up. If you go here, it says this. Alright, now here's what you're gonna do. And now you gotta listen very, very closely. Now, on an iPhone, this is a little bit different, uh, but I'm just tutorialing this on an iPod Touch. Alright, so listen very closely. What you're going to do is you're going to triple click the home button. It's going to active, it's going to activate voiceover. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now you're going to tap up here, you're going to tap iPod. iPod, status bar item. Swipe down with three fingers to reveal the notification center. Double Take tap to scroll to top. Take your three fingers and you're going to slide okay, down. Okay, now the other part to the process was to uh, tap the weather status thing. I had to cut that out because I didn't realize that it went ahead and connected to my real town and everything. Don't really want to give that away. So just go ahead and tap uh, whatever, like it should say the town you're in. Just tap that weather notification thing. It should say degrees and everything and it'll take you to the weather app. And yeah, it may Double tap to open. Voice over. And you're right back, and you're on your new home screen. So um, that's all there is to it. So that's what you have to do. Just know that uh, it's going to save everything, obviously. So everything's going to stay there. It's just the reason why it does that is because uh, it keeps resetting itself. You haven't fully activated it yet. Now, also keep in mind, keep in mind this is a beta. Let me go ahead and prove to you that I'm running. Um, I was five. I shouldn't give you my serial number. Oh well, doesn't matter to me. But there you go. 5.0.
Alright, so it is real, but it is a beta, guys, so keep in mind. So, like, here we've got reminders. Okay, we've got, um, newsstand. Okay, what else? We've got messages. Still gotta set that up. We've got, uh, the whole home screen has been rearranged, so keep that in mind. Alright, guys, and that's really, let me just go ahead, to something playing. Let me turn it off. Looks like multitasking is turned off. Alright, I gotta figure out how to reactivate it. Alright guys, so that's all there is it to this video, and that's how to get iOS 5 now, if you're not a developer. Now also, keep in mind, do not update to the future like Beta 2, Beta 3, because I'm sure in those versions, Apple will patch this, and you won't be able to slide down to uh, cheat your way out. But that's how you do it, guys, and try not to power off your device too much if you don't want to keep doing that. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks a bunch for watching Mike's iPod Help 101. Please comment below on this video, because it's a very good video, and I think in my opinion. Rate, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe. And hopefully, sometime soon, like I'll do a uh, video either on my um, iPhone or iTouch. I gotta figure it out, but... I'll probably do a tutorial on iOS 5 on one of these devices. Alright guys, thanks a bunch for watching, and I uh, will see you in the next video. And most importantly, subscribe. There's a button up top. I think I said that already. Yeah. Alright. Peace.